Hey guys, today we're doing a solo tectan guide for beginners. We've been solo reading quite often and being able to clear the tectan room is essential. This guide is for beginners because we're not heavily dependent on timing or counting ticks and we're going to follow a pattern instead. This should be doable for solo beginner readers because this way you're guaranteed to clear the room. Before we begin, let's go over some gear and inventory setup. To start off, we're going to need food, restore potions, a super combat potion and a stamina dose. If you execute the strategy correctly, you wouldn't need any food, but food is great for correcting any mistakes. In terms of gear, I'm using full void together with a dragon war hammer and elder maul. If you don't have an elder maul, any 6 stick weapon would do. I'm using full elite void, but your gear is not too important. As long as you can do damage on Tekton, you should be fine. Alright, let's start the kill. We're potted up and our HP, prayer points and energy levels are high enough. Our quick prayer is set to piety and protect from melee. We're gonna start the kill by unloading our two Dragon Warhammer specs and moving around Tekton as such. You would note, Tekton is a 4x4 NPC and we're attacking Tekton on every 4th tile. After unloading our Dragon Warhammer specs, we're back to the Elder Mall. This is where our key strategy comes into play. I just messed up the timing a bit and Tekton has gone to heal, but this is a great opportunity for me to start uh, talking you through the strategy. For this strategy of the fight, avoid the lava bombs by standing where the lava bombs just hit. This is also a great time to pot up or eat up if you have to. Alright, now that Tekton is back, let's dive in. So, Tekton is a 4x4 NPC and he has 4 sides. As we run around him, he turns to face us and attack us. The first thing to note for this strategy is I'm hitting Tekton 2 times for every lap I go around him. The timing is as such. Our lap around Tekton will begin in 3, 2, 1. Attack Tekton, move to the next spot. Click on Tekton, don't attack him, but move to the next spot and attack him again. Move to the next spot and move back to your initial position attacking Tekton again. So you can see, right here my timing is a little off, so Tekton went to heal, but I managed to get a couple of good hits in before he did that. We're gonna wait for Tekton to come back to us and continue the fight. If you execute the timing properly, Tekton is very unlikely to heal because he'll be constantly turning to fight you. So we hit Tekton here, we move, we click but don't hit, move again, and hit. I messed up the timing, so I hit here, I move, I click but don't hit, I move, I click, and I hit. And repeat till Tekton is done. This time we managed to make it 2.5 rounds around Tekton before Tekton went back to heal and we lowered his health considerably. I guess it's worth noting we haven't taken any damage from Tekton itself, so this is working out for us. Again, we make it 2.5 rounds around Tekton before he goes back to heal, but this time his health is down to 1 third of the total. It's worth noting for this strategy, you don't need to be tick perfect because you're moving between Tekton's hits, and he has quite a slow attack speed. The two mistakes that you can make is either getting hit by Tekton or sending Tekton back to heal. So long as you keep generally within the timing, you might take a bit of damage or Tekton might heal a bit more often, but otherwise you should be fine. And just like that, Tekton is done. We didn't take a single damage from Tekton except 1 HP from stepping under him, but otherwise than that, he didn't touch us at all. So yeah, that's my beginner guide to doing Tekton. It's also worth noting, the first room of every challenge raid is a Tekton boss fight. So if you ever want to practice Tekton, just load up a challenge raid, hop in and give it a go. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe, and if you have questions, please do leave a comment. While you're here, do consider checking out my main series. The Bloodhound that you see on screen is a 1kc Bloodhound. We're doing some crazy things with clues trolls for the most insane collection log ever. Check out my series intro here.